what's the highest NFT sale? I have a sold out collection, and yeah, it's um, like like ten it. Oh no, it's way more. Like it's it's a lot. I can just wake up and be inspired by a downfall driver and make a painting, and then someone all the way from where New York sees it and is like, yeah, I had a dream about this. Or oh, my wife told me about this and blah blah and spend like four thousand dollars on that and not have a physical copy it just has it in the crypto wallet how's it going guys it's Fisao here and in this video we're going to be speaking with a prolific digital artist his name is Mayawa Alabi and he's prominently known as Shutterbug he'll share his NFT journey his story and we'll see how he uses his work for a good cause by the way all the artworks you'll be seeing in this video are his own except otherwise stated I will also have timestamps in the description or chapter section of this video so you can skip ahead to any section that you feel interests you but again you can watch through the whole video i think you'll find it more interesting that way also guys make sure you don't miss any second of this video as we'll be giving away 100 bus they split across 10 random subscribers that's a hundred dollars so do stick around for the details on that huge shout out to binance for that by the way if you're new to the channel welcome and if you're returning welcome back i'd love it if you could hit that like button so more people can benefit from the knowledge that we're about to share here in this video all right Without further ado, let's get into the video. I'm here with Mayawa Alabi. He's also known as Shutterbug. He's a very dope illustrator. We've we've known for how many years now? Give or take eight, ten. I learned I learned graphic design from this guy. We worked in the same the, it, company it, once. Yeah, we as did. well. In the same building. In the same building, sorry, not the same company. I yeah. was in fitted design agency and you were in CC yeah. Hub. Yeah. Back then, my was the person that I was looking up to, like, oh, I want to, I want to design like this guy. <laughs> you were the one that introduced me to Gotham, the font. Oh, yeah. I love that font so much. I use it in everything. Let me, let me shut up now and let me let you introduce yourself. So, in, Wait, in your own words. So, so, before I introduce myself, I have to say, it. so without further ado, let me introduce myself. Um, <clears throat> okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I um Mario RB aka Shutterbug aka Omolokbe um aka Omoni Guru oh sorry um <laughs> I, have, I have a lot of things but I guess people know me as an artist but apart from being an artist I am like you said I'm also a graphic designer I dabble into photography um video editing um what else I feel like I'm forgetting stuff. I once tried to double into coding, but it looks like for that mass, so I quit. Um, so yeah, I'm also an upcoming DJ and music producer and video director and university chancellor. I have a long list of things I want to do with my life. So yeah, fair enough. Um, but yeah, I guess most people would know me as shut the book the artist so I, I would say that i really love your illustrations by the way i have one on the wall right there from how many years ago was it now um i would say four three four years since i think it's 2018 or 2019 yeah, i don't about, remember the exact about, year about. yeah i know that uh that's the downfall on the wall it's one of my favorite digital arts and i i just had to bring it all the way from ikoro to this place to hang it on the wall here. Appreciate it. I really like it. It's it reminds me of the good old days. The good old days. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when I used to enter downfalls a lot. Yeah, you know, lucky. Like I'm thinking of doing a thing where I go back and enter downfalls with a GoPro or something, and just to record. That that would be mad. Yeah, record the moment. That experience is ah, uh, something. Yeah. The sweat. Yep. Everything. Yep. Is a, is a vibe. I, I think it's. I think it's, it's a good thing to have experienced that because now I kind of appreciate the, the value of what I have now. Sure. I guess, I don't know. Anyway. Sure, sure. So, today we're talking about NFTs. I remember seeing something where you did an NFT. It was on Twitter. A lot of people were talking about it. And how did you get started with NFTs? And what was your first experience like? Um, First experience, let's see. I think my very first experience, like the very first NFT I sold was from, I sold it like privately. I did a private listen and it was, I was fresh off listening to the last Kanye West album. Mm -hmm. So I was like in this phase, I like to call it my Donda phase. 
and I was just um, listening to the songs off the album and just creating and drawing lots of stuff. And there was one painting in particular. And then um, someone hit me up in my DMs, like it's a mutual friend of ours, and he said he wanted it, like he wanted to buy it as an NFT. But prior to that, I think I already announced I was going to enter NFTs on my timeline. But um, yeah, I, I really I hadn't listed anything just yet. But once I put that up, um, I sold it. I think for. 0.5, 0.45 ETH, and but and that was my very first NFC sale, and then, um, so I had a game plan. I found was to sell just ten illustrations as NFCs because I was very skeptical because mm-hmm. I've seen, like it just didn't. It felt I guess it's the way I valued myself at that point in my life. Like I just it felt too good to be true. Mm-hmm. I've been like making so much money from these things. Like why haven't people hit me up already to buy them? So I was very skeptical and my plan was to just sell 10 of my illustrations as NFTs. So after selling the first one, I just had nine left. But <clears throat> as God to have it, um, six, seven, eight months later, I've sold over 500. And yeah, I, will probably, won't, I probably won't stop selling. What's the, what's the highest uh, NFT sale? So in terms of one single sale, like one, like a one of one, it was. For those that are already used to the crypto space, uh, Binance needs no introduction. Binance is the biggest crypto exchange in the world, literally, with billions of dollars in daily cryptocurrency trade volumes. If you're new to cryptocurrencies, then Binance is pretty much a great place to start. The platform offers a wide range of products and services that keeps your journey through the cryptoverse as smooth as possible. I already made a couple of videos talking about the different ways you can make money on the Binance app, and you can check those out with links in the description of this video. Interestingly, Binance also hosts NFTs on their platform. So if after this video you would like to get involved with the NFT space, then you can indeed sign up for that platform and benefit from all the features that it has to offer. Also, as I mentioned earlier, we're giving away 10 BUSD to 10 subscribers, which makes up a 100 BUSD pool, which is like $100. So enter the giveaway. The first step is to in fact subscribe to this channel and then download the Binance app with my link in the description. Make sure you download and sign up with the link in the description and I'll pick in 10 people to get 10 BUSD and the results will be announced a week after this video is live. All right, best of luck to you guys. So in terms of one single sale, like one, like a one of one, it was one ETH. Oh, okay. Yeah, but then I have a sold out collection and yeah, it's... Um, like, like 10 ETH? Oh no, it's way more. Like it's, it's a lot. As, as I would call out the exact figure, but <laughs> yeah, as you know, we live in very dangerous times. No worries, no worry. it's but fine, yeah. it's fine. Wow, that, that's very cool. I think that, that's very cool to see that yeah. uh, digital art is, is really thriving in in Nigeria. No, well, not Nigeria, I mean, the, the world is and global the world, already, yeah. so that's very dope. So, how do you feel? How do I feel? on top of the world like come on <laughs> i feel like i'm blown no no um so honestly i feel like it just i feel like the goals i set for myself like nfts just brought them to me much faster mm. like um i would like to think i was really on a very good part of success with digital arts mm-hmm. and graphic design and i kind of had my life put together like i knew like what I was going to be doing for the next three, four years. But with NFCs, like the financial backup I needed, like that process just came faster thanks to NFCs. And now I have like the luxury to pick up DJing, for example, and a few other things I want to learn while still doing digital arts. So mm. yeah. That's that's really, really dope. Seeing how you went, you know, from one private sale yep. all the way to five hundred over 500 yeah, yeah sold out that's that's very dope yep. what what would you say like in your opinion gives an nft value so it could be different things really so for one thing it could be the artist let me use um banksy as an example he's mm-hmm. not an nft artist he's a regular artist mm-hmm. that most people know so imagine if banksy today announces that 
he wants to make his first NFT. The type of people who would be willing to purchase it, like I can't even think, probably going to be the highest selling NFT ever if Banksy wants to do it. So on one hand, you have the artist. And then on the other hand, you have the collector. I guess this ties to how big the person who buys your art is like in the real world, mm -hmm. so to speak. So an example again is if I decide to put up an illustration and Barack Obama decides to buy that as an NFT. So yes, even if I am an artist that stays in AJ City, for example, and I've never made a sale in my life, the fact that Obama I seen an illustration I made and I decided to buy it like I've blown like that mm -hmm. so there's that and then I think the third thing is the heart itself I guess for some part of the NFT world the apes and the punks for example yeah, are selling yeah. like it's the it's not because I don't want to slander anybody <laughs> but um okay let me just rephrase I think and circle back you want do you want to say it's not because of the art like people are just using it to make money they want um, to yeah, buy and sell yeah so there, there's that exactly so people it has become more like a financial statement so to speak it's like having it's like having an iphone for example it's more of a statement piece that you look i have an iphone 13 and you're using a pixel or you're mm. using a samsung but in some other cases i know different artists that like who sell high value stuff because it is art like whoever is buying it isn't buying it because he wants to resell this particular art piece it's whoever collects it it's actually is actually collecting it it's like a mona lisa for example like you can imagine the first person to ever own the mona lisa mm -hmm. like he probably bought it because yes like i saw this illustration i saw this piece of art and something in me connects with it and i want it and like I'm, i must have it so i guess those three factors determine exactly how an nfc is valued either the artist the collector or the art itself like if it's just some great piece of work that speaks for itself what do you think about those who buy nfts to sell like who arbitrage nfts they buy to sell higher i mean it's a good thing. I don't think, I feel like it's still bringing like the much needed boss to the mm. NFT world. Cause I would be lying if I said um, money doesn't like impact mm -hmm. NFT, like the NFT space. So it is, it is a good thing. I guess it's, it just becomes a problem when it becomes the only thing like people are there for. Like, so it's like, you, might, you can imagine a situation where in future people just come and they are buying art not because like they have a personal connection with it or because they want to support the artists they're just buying it because they know that if they resell they're going to make um 10 times the amount they bought it for i guess that's when it can become a problem which is also a good problem <laughs> i guess so again i don't think it's anything too negative it's a good thing all in all mm -hmm. okay so do you think nfts are the future for art and collectibles um yeah i think i think they are because i'd like to say every day is day one with nfts like at the moment everyone thinks like art is at the forefront of what people think nfts mm -hmm. are but in the future we're seeing we're looking at the situation where people can even like people already buy land in the method of us yeah like yeah nfts like art is, is just one phase of what nfts could be like so yeah i think it's the future and even like even even if we bring it to the real world like <clears throat> no shade to anyone again but like the traditional the traditional collectors they are finally um what's the word now accepting digital art mm -hmm. like yeah they're finally taking us as one of their own which two three years from now it would i would say it was probably impossible to get the digital artist into a traditional art gallery because like they labeled our they labeled digital art as fake because mm. it's like we have because it's easier to make so and it's, it's not actual art but now everyone has seen the money coming in 
and now so they're saying yeah it's real hot like the fact that you can chill with the big boys now so yeah <laughs> we've accepted you so yeah it's it's it, it is the future and yeah again it's day one every day is day one and the possibilities are limitless do you think you can retire with nfts um like if i'm being honest i should have retired. like yeah yeah i mean it's so and the nft space is so welcoming okay i'll use myself as, a, as an example prior to nfts mm-hmm. the only like the highest i ever sold an illustration of mine that i printed and made as a frame was one twenty thousand naira. that's the highest i ever sold and i've sold like other pieces for forty thousand naira for fifty thousand naira. um now like i don't have to print like mm-hmm. i literally i can just wake up and be inspired by a downfall driver and make a painting and then someone all the way from where new york sees it and is like yeah i had a dream about this or my wife told me about this and blah blah and spend like four thousand dollars on that and not have a physical copy it just has it in the crypto wallet so yeah i've forgotten the question but <laughs> do you think life. you can retire with it yeah but I, i'm thinking like there's there's the there's the thing about it being digital like do people really own the thing do they really own the nft if you can right click save jpeg i mean yeah so to explain that um yes anybody can basically right click and save a picture and claim it as just but how it's unique is thanks to the blockchain Mm. yeah so where everybody can right click and save on the blockchain it's only registered to one person so that makes it um a collectible and like prior to nfts and the whole crypto ecosystem coming together like to actually claim ownership to a digital product was next to impossible like no one can lay claim because so imagine for example a big tech company puts up their logo you know their logos are everywhere on the internet and everyone is right clicking and saving and they now say that yes i own google because I downloaded the Google mm. logo and of I own it. Like prior to NFTs, that was I guess that was the case. But on the blockchain, if Google decides to sell their logo, it's only registered to one person. So while everyone, I guess, quotes in quote, are deceiving themselves by saying I own Google because I right clicked and saved this, in the actual like sense of it, only one person owns it because only one person bought this and it's only registered to one person on the blockchain i believe that's the non-fungible part of the yep, non-fungible yep, token. that's what makes it non-fungible okay so the the last question would be about like the metaverse like how how versed are you in the metaverse um ah or more i think my level is of the metaverse is limited to play our own vibes like the movie <laughs> okay like so <laughs> I had I had seen the movie prior to the NFT boom, and while I understood it for the most part, like it just, it was just another movie that mm-hmm. I could remember. But like after the NFT boom and the old metaverse thing, I had to go rewatch it. So I guess yeah. I mean, I think it's a good. I, I like the metaverse, but I don't. I'm not someone who wants to necessarily get, get trapped in a digital world. So I like the real space, but the metaverse is a good thing and I'm happy it's happening and people can actually live double lives now. I yeah. Guess. So Facebook and Facebook is doing this thing, uh, meta now as they are yeah. called. They want people to sell NFTs on Facebook, mm. Instagram, and then Twitter has now done this thing where if you have an NFT, yep, yep. your profile picture will have a diamond. Yep. I, I saw I saw that, that and that was really nice. That was really cool to yeah. see. It's it's kind of interesting how all these companies are embracing NFTs. I think it was Facebook that did a whole video. Jackie, you know, was there on how she could sell her products, yep. you know, in the digital space. People can come and have parties with her. Yep. There's something you mentioned about the NFT boom. Do you think the NFT space is in a bubble right now? Yes and no. I mean, the what makes a bubble a bubble is like if it busts or not mm-hmm. so that's what makes a bubble a bubble so i guess it's up to the current people who are making like the N- who are making nfts a thing like it's up to us to sustain it and make sure it's not a thing that dies out it's not just a one it wonder a bubble so to speak that just comes in 
so yeah i mean technically if god forbid like yeah everything comes falling down yeah i guess technically it could be described as a bubble or as a phase in life where people were just on this hype train and then it died out and whatnot but i guess if people if the momentum is sustained which i think it's on a good part now yeah because nfts have been around since 2014 and like yeah so i think it's on a steady part it's not something that came last year and then yeah it's big and then it's probably died out this year it's been on like the steady growth phase so i feel like if it continues at this level it's just going to get better and bigger i think that's that's pretty much all i have is there is there anything that you would like to talk about so i have a collection um, yeah people you people should buy my collection i'm honestly i'm at the phase like this year um i want to do more collabs as opposed to doing personal stuff in the nfc space i feel like i've put enough out there for the world to see as nfcs yeah. and like yeah i just want to take a step back now and just create for the fun of it again oh that's true speaking of like partnerships i saw something you did with tunde oh Chess. yeah 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 how, how is that working out though um and hey yes yeah, so we've not made any sales yet so <laughs> you people should come and help and so yeah so um the thing with today so that that's that's all for charity that's mm-hmm. for his chess and slums project um so we have so i did a call out to all the artists all the nft artists on my timeline and i'm like yo um you guys can make art like just related to this and then we can sell then whatever we sell it for all the donations go to Tunde, and you can use it for its chess and slums project like that's what it's entirely about so basically i again i'm getting zero percent from this mm-hmm. Every, all the proceeds are going to chess and slums so that's more or less stuff i want to do this year i'm not looking into selling personal work um but like yeah i'm open to collab with charities and other artists other upcoming nft artists because again yeah, i've noticed i have a platform so i would like to help people as much as i can that's pretty much it guys if you do want to support the charity which we mentioned by tunde the chess in slums project it's a cool one and it's helping kids get out of the slums i'll leave links in the description below for different ways that you can support that cause i'll also leave links in the description to mayawa's or shutterbox's collection and you can see his social handles as well by the way everything would be in the description below please support his work and feel free to reach out to him if you would like to hop on collabs if you enjoyed watching this video be sure to hit that like button so more people get to see it i do have a more detailed video explaining the nitty-gritty of nfts coming soon so please do subscribe and turn on notifications by hitting the bell icon beside the subscribe button so you don't miss out on that and if you made it to this point in the video do drop this eye emoji you are the real mvp thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video